Hello folks, Jason Cressman here of JC's Bees. Today I want to discuss something with you that you're probably not very familiar with. You may have read about it, but as far as actually witnessing it or hearing this, um, it probably hasn't happened until today. Because today we're going to talk about the queen pipping noise and what it means and how it works. So, have you ever been in a beehive and heard a queen make a noise, other than just a buzz noise? Well, she does. And as far as I'm aware, there's only a couple instances in her life that she will use this pipping noise. A queen makes this pipping noise the day that she's getting ready to emerge from the cell. As she's chewing her way out from within the cell, she starts to make this pipping noise. And what that does is draw in workers from the outside of the cell to start chewing away at the bottom. This will help release her quicker, right? Well, usually in a beehive, when there's a swarm cell, a supersedure cell, or whatever the cell may be, it's a queen cell, um, there's usually one, two, three, seven, ten. There's not just one. So, you got a queen cell over here making this pepping noise. She's got workers outside chewing at the bottom. She's inside chewing at the bottom. You got another cell over here. This queen's making the pipping noise. She's got workers outside chewing at the bottom. She's inside chewing at the bottom. Now the race is on. First one out is going to kill the other. So let's say this queen gets out first. The pipping noise is going to tell her right where to go to get to the other cell. Where is that other queen? Well, it just so happens that this other queen making the pipping noise is going to draw this one over. She's going to chew out the side of the cell and kill that queen. And then she's going to sit and she's going to listen. She's going to run around on frame. That's what virgin queens do. They don't like to sit still very often. So as she's running around these frames, she's listening for this noise, this pipping noise. And once she realizes there is no more pipping, she realizes she is the only queen left. Now her duties are to mate. So the other day I was making a hive inspection on a nuke. I squatted down on the ground, puffed the entrance a couple times, and I could hear this tooting noise without even taking the lid off the nuke. I knew I had cells that were should have either emerged or about to emerge. But as soon as I heard the noise, I knew that the activity was on. So I opened the hive and I got a little video and audio, not so much video, but more audio of this noise and I wanted to share it. So let's take a look, make sure you listen very closely for this noise and uh, when you hear it, memorize it, keep it in your beekeeping file and uh, make sure you start to listen while you're working your bees. Um, we're so set on using our hands and our eyes and our nose while we're working our bees, we never really thought that we could use our ears. Well, you can, and this is how. So take a look at this little clip. Listen very closely for this pipping noise. So what'd you think? Pretty interesting, huh? Have you ever heard that before while you're working your bees? Did you wonder what it was? And if so, now you know. This year is actually my first year to hear that sound. I knew about it, I knew it existed, but I had never personally witnessed it myself. But back in April of this year, I got a chance to hear it, and I was just amazed by it. So when I heard it the other day, I knew I had to share it with my fans and uh, let everybody out there witness it, hear it, soak it all in, and absorb it. While you're out there working your bees, this will come in handy. Another thing I'm pretty excited to share with you is this year I will be doing honey extraction videos. Um, up to this year, I've just used an old antique AI root galvanized extractor uh, with a porcelain paint on the inside little three framer um, it's done me well my my focus hasn't been honey so I'm not after a large honey production um, I'm starting to get 
to where I want the larger honey production and pushing my honey out into a few stores and small restaurants. So I had to upgrade to a little bit better extractor. And in a few years, I'll go a little bit bigger still. But I went and bought the Maxent 3100P. Um, maybe next week I'll do a review video on that and tell you what I've observed right off the bat without even using it. And then from there, it'll progress and I'll use it, show you how to do some extracting and how to break all that down. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take time to do so down below the video. And uh, that way when I release these videos, they're sent right to your feeds. Um, I'm pretty excited about sharing the honey extracting videos. I've wanted to do them for a long time, but using that antique equipment that nobody has anymore, it just didn't make sense to me, so I've avoided it until now. So, watch for that. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd be appreciated. That helps boost this video in the YouTube search ranks, and it'll make it easier for other beekeepers to find. I appreciate that, and they appreciate that. Trust me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, folks.